Dear Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely welcome all participants of the 8th Global Baku Forum on the theme The World After COVID-19 and express special gratitude to the Nizami Ganjavi International Center for invitation to participate in this event. For a short period of activity, the Nizami Ganjavi International Center has established itself as one of the most productive international platforms for achieving consensus and mutual understanding in solving global problems and complex situations faced by the world promotes tolerance, dialogue and mutual understanding between cultures and nations. The organization of this forum by the International Center is very timely and relevant when socio-economic life in all countries is experiencing the negative consequences of the coronavirus pandemic. The pandemic created a crisis situation, caused significant damage to national economies, became a factor of sharp increase in unemployment and poetry, changed the way of the life of millions of people and is a serious challenge for all mankind. In this difficult situation, we believe that global solidarity and international cooperation are the only right choice to reduce the consequences of these large-scale tests in all areas of cooperation. First of all, it is necessary to refrain from the ongoing politicization of the topic of the coronavirus pandemic, which is a global challenge to the entire international community and requires coordinated action by all states. In a number of countries, certain political forces have questioned the activities of the leading multilateral institution, as was the case with the World Health Organization. At the same time, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization member state highly appreciate and fully support the activities of WHO, follow its recommendation for the prevention and control of the spread of the diseases. The emergence of new and the persistence of old challenges to international security and stability require a qualitative rethinking of the concept of multilateralism. The pandemic has shown that there is a currently no significant progress in the formation of comprehensive approaches to combating a wide range of non-traditional challenges and threats, including terrorism, drug trafficking, cross-border organized crime, cybercrime, illegal migrant and human trafficking, money laundering, corruption, climate change, etc. In this regard, the ACO expressing support for multilateralism calls on all countries of the world to establish and strengthen a network of horizontal partnership in the interest of complementarity and synchronization of common efforts in order to build a peaceful, safe, prosperous and environmentally friendly planet Earth. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I am confident that unwavering adherence to the principles of the Shanghai spirit based on mutual trust and benefit, mutual consultation, respect for diversity of cultures and the movement toward joint development will further strengthen the image of ACO as one of the effective regional pillars of modern multilateral diplomacy. The Dushanbe Declaration of Asia Anniversary Summit, adopted on September 17, 2021, reflected the main results of the organization's 20-year activity, the common position of our states on key issues of regional and global policy. This document acts as a reference point for the ACO in the near future and brings it to new vector of development. The SCO adhering to the line that excluded blocks, ideologized and confrontational approaches to solving urgent problems of international and regional development, will continue to increase its contribution to ensuring peace and security, revolving international and regional conflicts exclusively by political and diplomatic means, based on the principles of equality, respect for sovereignty, territorial integrity and non-interference in the internal affairs of states, non-use, force or threaten of its use. The commonest stone of the SEO it is not directed against third states and international organizations, 
and also is not and will not be military political union, nor an economic integration association with supranational decision-making bodies. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the coming decade will be a period of dynamic changes in international relations associated with the formation of a polycentric world order, strengthening the regional level of global governance and strengthening their position of developing countries, reaffirming its firm support for the efforts of the UN as a universal multilateral organization that plays a central and coordinating role in maintaining international peace and security, stimulating global development, promoting and protecting human rights, the ACO calls on all states and international organizations to increase cooperation in all spheres with a central coordinating role of the United Nations. The ACO supports strengthening the authority and increasing the effectiveness of the UN through gradual reform, as well as continuous strengthening of its potential in order to adequately and promptly respond to challenges and threats. In conclusion, I would like to once again express my gratitude to the Nizami Ganjavi International Center for organizing this forum. And I am sure that during this forum will be formulated more important ideas for governing the problem which we are facing with the pandemic COVID-19. I sincerely wish the forum participants effective work and fruitful discussions. Thank you for your attention.